Hi, I'm Berger Stamperdahl with Give to Asia. We're a nonprofit based in San Francisco and uh, very happy to be a partner with the Desponde Foundation. This is my second development dialogue and it's incredibly impressive what has changed in Hubli uh, in, over the past two years since the last time I was here and the scale of the work that's happening here at the Hubli Sandbox. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm part of an organization that works with nonprofit organizations all throughout uh, Asia. And what's incredibly unique about the sandbox concept that's happened here in Hubli and in other places in India is the ability to build a, a community that is focused on self-improvement, uh, championing entrepreneurship, and really tackling the issues in the community, and doing it in a way that's sustainable and that ultimately lifts everyone up and builds the community. It's not common, uh, and it's not common to find something like the sandbox concept that can be replicated as the sandbox con concept ha in Hubli has. So that's all very impressive, uh, and Give to Asia hopes to be uh, a partner with the Desponde Foundation and with the Hubli Sandbox for a long time. Uh, next time I get here, I'm hoping to see the inside of the new campus and, uh, and learning more about what's happening in Hubli. When I think about uh, the development dialogue, I think about people coming together to talk about sustainable development and economic growth in a way that uh, is focused on uh, bottom-up growth rather than uh, sitting talking about uh, it from a, from a top-down perspective. I think that's one of the, the reasons I like the development dialogue is because people are coming uh, with that lens to talk about community-based growth. And it's, uh, it's interesting to hear all the different perspectives from for-profit companies, both small, medium-sized co companies that are here, as well as large international companies that come here uh, to hear, hear discussions from nonprofit leaders, government leaders, and other institutions, all on that same theme. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's an important discussion uh, that happens. So the theme at the Development Dialogue this year is scaling effectively, and I come at that topic from a nonprofit mindset because we are a grant-making organization. And from our experience, scaling is something that doesn't happen that often in the nonprofit world when you think about scaling uh, and replicating across multiple communities. So for me, when I think about scaling effectively, I think about what's the mission of the organization? Uh, are they achieving it? And how can they improve on the quality of what they're doing? And sometimes improving on the quality means increasing the number of people you're serving. But sometimes it means looking at the problem, looking at the, at the opportunity, and uh, being creative about new ways to, uh, to innovate, new ways to think about the future of the community. So it doesn't necessarily mean moving out of the community. Uh, it just means doing a better job. Well, coming from the perspective of an organization that works across all of Asia, uh, it you know, would be interesting in the next development dialogue to also hear some discussions about the concept of the sandbox and perhaps bring in some voices from other countries inside of Asia to talk about uh, what they're learning from what is happening here in Hubli and how it could work and what parts maybe wouldn't work if you move that uh, move that model to Vietnam or you moved it to the Fil Philippines or you moved it to somewhere else uh, in the region. So that, uh, that discussion around international replication of a model that's, that's clearly already been replicated um, but hasn't necessarily uh, reached its full potential in terms of replication, that would be an interesting conversation for next time. Uh, the takeaway from this development dialogue is that the uh, uh, that, that the, the Hubli Sandbox um, has become such a, uh, a force in Hubli uh, that it's really driving Hubli's growth into uh, a cutting edge, uh, a cutting edge uh, community. And I learned during, during this, uh, during this uh, weekend that Hubli is the second largest city in Karnataka, uh, which is, I think, uh, uh, 
partly due to the incredible work that the Sandbox is doing. So I think that um, I think that the Sandbox and Hubli has moved on to the next stage to uh, to really become um, about uh, the establishment and planning of what will ultimately be uh, a world-class city. Mm -hmm.